Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the ranking member's view of uh, the Trump tax cuts reminds me of the, uh, the story of the economist who said, well, that might work in practice, but it'll never work in theory. My Democratic colleagues seem to believe that taxes are simply a cash box with a dial. Turn it up, they produce more revenue. Turn it down, it produces less. But Mr. Mazur touched on this, the Laffer curve, which explains why that view is so wrong. A 0% tax rate, of course, produces zero revenues, but so does a 100% tax rate produce zero revenues because it utterly destroys the incentive to, to, to produce. So as the tax rate rises, the incentives to produce new wealth slowly diminish, and the incentives to avoid or evade the tax slowly increase at the same time until the curves reach a point of equilibrium in which any increase in tax rates actually produces lower tax revenues. Mr. McBride, do I have that right? That's correct. That's certainly a real thing. And, and, and uh, history teaches us uh, that, that, that very clearly that, that this is the case. In the last 60 years, the top tax, income tax rate has been as high as 91%, and it's been as low as 28%. But federal tax revenues have stayed remarkably steady at between 13% and 20% of GDP. And indeed, some of the lowest tax revenues came when the top tax rate was at its highest. And some of the highest revenues came when the top tax rate was, was, was quite low. Um, but although the tax rates within this envelope uh, has remarkably little effect on revenues, I, I do think that it has a big impact uh, on economic growth. And, and, and experience, practice, uh, tells us that, that that's the case as, as well. Um, we keep hearing that the uh, Trump tax cuts favored the wealthy. Well, Mr. McBride, you're, you're tax foundation, right? Correct. Didn't you folks report that uh, uh, the taxes paid by the top 1% went up while the other 99% of Americans saw their taxes go down with the Trump tax cuts? The, the share of, of taxes paid by yeah. the top 1%, yes, reached, a, uh, I believe, a, at least a 20-year high. The, 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 the top 1% actually saw their share rise from 38% to 40%, correct? Correct. And the top 1% of taxpayers, they earned 19% of all income in the country, and yet they ended up paying 40% of all of the income tax revenues. Do I have that right? Yeah, that's right. So when they say the wealthy ought to pay their fair share, what they're really arguing for is to cut their taxes in half. Do I have that right? Sounds right, yes. Mr. McGregor, when we cut taxes during the Trump administration, did, did tax revenues go up or go down? They certainly went up, and they went up uh, beyond expectations. Um, but the deficit also went up. Why was that? Spending went up. Uh, Even faster, right? It's uh, much, the, much more, yes. It I've been trying to point out to my friends higher. on the other side, it's the spending stupid. Um, and that's the point. Deficits are, are, are simply a, a deferred tax. We borrow now, and then we have to pay it back in the future, or we simply inflate the economy, and everybody pays it back at the grocery store and, and, and the gas station. And this administration has made a science of, of both of those. Um, when Reagan cut taxes, did tax revenues go up or go down? They, they went up eventually. Um, yeah. Well, eventually because the, 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 the tax cut was, was postponed for two years. And as, as Art Laffer had explained to President Reagan at the time, Mr. President, how much shopping do you do at a store the day before they have their, their year-end sale? Uh, but the point is the economy responds to these things. And, and the Democrats used to understand that. Uh, when Truman took office, he abolished the excess profits tax. He, he slashed federal income tax rates, uh, and we had the post-war economic boom. The, the, the ranking member's right. Clinton did raise taxes shortly after taking office, and he took such a drubbing at the polls, they lost the congressional majority. He completely reversed course, came to the Congress and declared the era of big government is over, and what did he do? He provided the what amounted to the biggest capital gains tax cut in American history. Uh, he restrained federal spending, actually reduced federal spending uh, uh, as a percentage of GDP. And we had explosive economic growth in four years of balanced budgets. You would think that with that practice in hand, 
uh, the, the, the left would abandon their socialist theories, which have never worked here or anywhere else they've been tried. Uh, I see my time's up. I yield back.